My name is Lieutenant Chuck Estes. I'm with Spring Hill Fire Department. And um, so today we're doing our final inspection on our 100 foot um, tower. And uh, we have, so we went with a velocity cab, um, four man. Um, we decided to go with the side doors. Uh, the side doors is going to be for all of our electronic stuff. We have power run to that um, on the back side here. Um, we have the cabs, four, two seats on the back on the rear. We have an inside uh, EMS compartment for additional storage. Um, so um, our pump panel, uh, what we did with our pump panel is we went with a wider pump panel and we done the side by side um, cross lays. Uh, one's going to be inch and three quarter, another two and a half inch. Uh, we also changed up on the pump panel the five inch intake uh, for our supply line. Um, it's pretty much it on the pump panel. Um, we did do the gray over red. That's our uh, color scheme that we started going with. Uh, and then on the velocity cab, we're starting to uh, do our whole department with that, that cab configuration. So um, this is our engineer compartment. <clears throat> Um, so um, we done pegboard on all the sides and back wall for uh, mountain options. So um, on this compartment we um, done a pegboard um, tray that swings out. Also done a pegboard on the back walls. Um, we also have this for the engineers um, gear. Uh, and then in here, in this compartment, we did um, for the engineer's air pack. So his air pack will go in there. And then we have spare O2 bottles um, right here. And have a double right here. So coming on back. <clears throat> so we also, we had power mounted uh, a run to this compartment for all of our um, blowhard fans and uh, electrical fans. And then we had pegboard also on the back wall for additional storage for equipment. Also have a pullout tray uh, in that compartment. And then in this compartment, um, we decided to go with the toolbox. So we got that. And then coming on around, um, um, we could have done a generator. We opted out of not doing a generator. Uh, that's just a ladder storage, and we've done the polymer um, storage boxes here, and the tray comes out, so I have additional storage there. Um, then coming on around. Um, on this compartment here, uh, we decided to do our Hearst um, combo tool, and we done pegboard on the, uh, all sides of the walls for additional storage for that and mounting for that option. Also, this compartment here, um, pegboard also on the back um, and pull-out tray. Uh, we tried to maximize as much space as we could with the pegboard for um, additional mounting options and uh, things in the future if we decide to add uh, equipment. Uh, this is our dry hopper. Um, so just comes out and fill here. And then on the bottom here, you pull this and it fills our bucket. So uh, this compartment here, we uh, decided to do our high-rise packs here on top and then do a, a folding ladder on the bottom. Um, and then in this compartment here, uh, we decided to do um, our water can and additional extinguishers in that compartment. Um, coming around here, uh, this is a writ compartment. Uh, we had it lettered for that. Um, and it's just a uh, very deep compartment there. It'll hold all of our red equipment. And
and so coming on around uh, this compartment here uh, we had power run to it um, we really didn't have anything specific to put in there uh, but I think we're at this time we're going to put additional hose and um, spanner wrenches and stuff in there for the pump panel here um, coming on around here um, this is our MS compartment um, so we also had power uh, in that run to this compartment to run any of our electrical stuff that we have for that so um, uh, the motor that we did we did a Detroit 500 horse 25 horse and then we done a 300 uh, gallon um, water tank so uh, we went with the Welland emergency lighting uh, we went with the um, all the high-vis scene lights with the LED bars uh, we've done the brow light across the front um, and then we've done it on the cab and then as you come around the truck um, we did two more light bars here for uh, additional scene lighting um, and as you come around uh, to the bucket um, we did the um, the uh, high vis uh, LED cube scene lighting on, on the middle of the bucket and then we also done underneath the bucket. Um, we did change these out to the cubes. Uh, we can um, at any time turn these on for either reverse lights or rear scene lights or anything like that. Uh, basically we did those all the way around the truck. Um, so it's the same on this side. So. We have a 75 foot uh, quint now um, that we just kind of outgrown. Our uh, buildings are getting taller, so um, we need a bigger truck. Um, our demand for additional equipment is uh, there. Um, so, but that's what we did. Um, this will be replacing that. And uh, just want to thank Pierce for uh, giving us the opportunity to build such a good truck. So, thanks.